For some of us, visiting geographic oddities is a bucket list must. But we found one point of interest right smack in the bullseye of a debate that may never be resolved. Lee Cowan takes us there, or tries to. The prairie grass of North Dakota can look like it's waving hello, but even the geese just fly right over. North Dakota is not only one of the least visited states, it's also one of the last on a tourist's bucket list. And yet, poor left out North Dakota may actually be the center of our world. It's been here though since the 30s, right? Yes, it has, 1931. And it's all this stone, stone monument all in Rugby, down. North Dakota, population about 2,700, marks the area that some say is the geographical center of our North American continent. It's really fun to say, you know, I'm from North Dakota, and people say, oh, fine. And, but if you can say, I live at the geographical center of North America, that's pretty cool. That says something. It says something. Kathy Jelsing used to be the director of Rugby's Geographical Center Historical Society. Part of her job was to point wayward tourists to what is now the parking lot of a Mexican restaurant, where they could bask in the magnificent significance that is the middle. I don't know what the center is supposed to feel like. <laughs> I think it's in your mind. Maybe. It's in your mind. So if you feel centered yeah. in the center. Right. Yeah. So just how was it determined that this was the continental bullseye? Well, it happened around 1930. An employee with the U.S. Geological Survey simply took a cutout of the map of the North American continent and then he tried to balance it on the top of a pin, sort of like this. Not the most sophisticated method, perhaps, but few argued with it for decades. Rugby embraced the designation. It gave this tiny dot on the prairie a true sense of place. You have to understand that here in North Dakota, we don't, we don't have that much. We don't have Carnegie Hall. <laughs> you know, we don't have the Statue of Liberty. And so this mattered to rugby. It's their Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's, their, it's their Teton Mountains. It's true. This is it. This is, why, this is why you live here. You don't live here for the boutique theater or, you know, right. the fine dining. You live here because there is this prairie. Clay and Jenkinson, a humanities scholar and North Dakota native, blissfully never questioned rugby's title until... <laughs> he learned of Hanson's Bar and its owner, who claimed the center of the continent was actually about 100 miles to the south in the town of Robinson, population about 38. And I was offended, so I thought, who is this jerk? Why mess with this little town's one pathetic claim to cosmic fame? <laughs> Did you ever think that this was going to cause such a stir? Yeah, I think we did. Did you? <laughs> Bill Bender meant no harm. It was a simple trivia question that he and a few of his buddies called into question. Lots of trial and error, but... One night, armed with a globe, some string, and more than a few beers... We had multiple pieces of string. They made the case that the continent's center was, perhaps not so coincidentally, right beneath the bar itself. To me, what we did late at night With in, some in a, a booth of, of the bar, yeah, it seems far more scientific than, you know, a child cutting out a, a, a cutout, you know, <laughs> and balancing it. He checked to see if rugby had trademarked their precious phrase, geographical center, and it turned out they had, or thought they had. They had let it lapse. So I just, that night, typed it in and, and registered everything and paid the 300 and some dollars it was. And boom, you owned it. Yeah, at, at that point, it was registered to Hanson's Bar. It wasn't very nice what they did. If we lost the geographical center, what would we be? We would just be another town in the middle of nowhere. Word of the midpoint meltdown soon got around. A professor in the geography department at the University at Buffalo, decided he'd give it a crack. So it's really just 
pure curiosity on your part to figure Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Professor Peter Rogerson took latitudes and longitudes from all around the edges of North America and plugged those continental coordinates into a special algorithm that he designed to find the center. I mean, you have to take into account that the Earth's surface is curved, and you want to find that balance point in a proper way. The program ran through all the numbers and kicked out a spot. It was again in North Dakota, but this time, believe it or not, the center was near a town actually named Center. Center, North Dakota. <laughs> you can't make this up. Yeah, when I plotted it on that map, I mean, you can imagine my surprise, <laughs> because I couldn't really uh, believe that that had happened. I mean, if, I mean, if it was- the odds, right? Right. I guess we probably couldn't have found a more ideal site for- It's the unique, center. Yeah. being up on a hill especially, you know, right. the view. Yeah. As you can see, you can see forever. Dave Berger and Rick Schmidt, both born and raised in Center, which incidentally got its name because it's the center of the county, decided to celebrate its newfound fame, just like every other town had. I called the coal mine and said, I want a pretty rock. <laughs> and there's no such thing as a pretty rock in North Dakota. And then the coal mine the lady called me two weeks later and said, I found your rock. 30,000 pounds of permanence. We're pretty confident that this is going to be, in the archives, this is going to be the permanent site. Because otherwise someone's going to have to move a really heavy right. rock. We're not going to do that. <laughs> As for Hanson's Bar, well, Bill Bender backed down and gave the Geographical Center trademark back to rugby, although he's still not removing that decal off the floor. So was it sort of a surrender? Yeah, it's a surrender. It was <laughs> definitely a surrender. <laughs> Through it all, rugby never missed a beat. Sales of t-shirts and shot glasses just kept going as if nothing had ever happened. It caused a lot of stress for, for people, but it turned out to be a great thing. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this controversy says about North Dakota? Does it say anything about the larger? <laughs> <laughs> it says we're a loser state. I mean, I mean, how, it's, it's, it's in the same zone as the world's largest ball of twine, what we're talking about here. Right. This is about something of no consequence, really, that sort of has a, a, a level of absurdity right at the center of it. And if it helps North Dakota, even in a puny little way, I'm for it. His advice? Chase after the centers while you can. Continents do wander, after all. Well, that is awesome. So why not wander here yourself and enjoy what one of the least visited states has to offer?